You are Felena, if I'm not mistaken. Shataya said that I might find you here. You are not mistaken, my lord. How might I please you? A one-on-one -on -one will be enough to satisfy me. Preferably far from prying ears. My lord needs only close the door. At Shataya's, the walls are thick and the beds are deep. Slow down. I just want to speak with you. Oh. In that case, it will be done according to my lord's pleasure. I am Alistair, of House Sarwick. I imagine that means something to you. Sarwick? By the Maiden. You are from Garwin's family, are you not? Did he send you? How is he? When will he return? By Relor's flame. Why are you so concerned with my brother's fate? My lord, I know the realities of my profession. Shataya treats us well, but in a few years I will be too old to draw men's eyes. And what awaits me then? Begging or walking the docks? I wish for Lord Garwin to take me into his service. Not to marry him. I'm not that naive. But he has always been attentive and charming. He will make a good master. He and I have talked about this. I understand your worries. But all of this does not tell me where he is. You recently sent him a love letter. You seem to be aware of his movements. Yes, my lord. Lord Garwin told me he was going to Riverspring in order to visit his father. Lambert, his servant, would send me news. He told me that Lord Garwin planned to return to King's Landing shortly, so that he wouldn't forget to pay me a visit. I sent him a message. He came here? Yes. But my message was for naught. He came directly here soon after his arrival in town. He found out that the City Watch was looking for him. It was I who washed the dust of travel from him. He did not even go to his home first. Well thought. Knowing that the gold cloaks were likely watching the house, coming here was a good decision. He was very nervous. He hardly spoke to me that night. I tried to ask him questions about the patricide rumors, but they only made him angry. The last thing he said was that he would go to the Red Keep, that the Crown would hear what he had to say and that he had more than one card to play. He left at the first light of dawn. I have had no news since and the gold cloaks continue to search for him. Something must have gone wrong. What do you plan to do, my lord? The City Watch has searched for him in vain for days. Even Lord Varys does not know his whereabouts, and Lord Varys knows all. You spoke of Garwin with the eunuch. Why? What did he want? He asked me questions, my lord. Nearly the same ones you did. He said he wanted to help him. Strange. Why would the Master of Whisperers want to help a fugitive escape the King's justice? I don't know why. But Lord Varys has always been good to us here. He has given us many reasons to be thankful for his attention. As far as he knows, the City Watch never caught Lord Garwin. The Gold Cloaks have nothing to do with his disappearance. Yes, I thought so. They came to search the Sarwick residence and are still looking for him. I will go to the Red Keep and see if I can find out more about him. Wait. This cloak belongs to Lord Garwin. He forgot it. Take it, please. By the fire! That's Sarwick Giltwaters. I remember seeing Father wear it on many a special occasion. Indeed, a cloak is more appropriate for a royal interview. I wasn't expecting to find it in this place. Lord Garwin wore it when he would come to visit. Since he was a wanted man, he feared it would attract too much attention, so he preferred leaving it here. I am sure he would be happy to know that the cloak is in the hands of a kinsman. This cloak is worth a fortune. How kind of him to return it to me. You're making me blush. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable keeping this cloak in my residence. If the gold cloaks were to find it, I could get into trouble. Take it, please. It's yours. I pray to the Maiden to help you in your search. Find Garwin, my lord. Bring him back safe and sound. I would need more than the help of an imaginary goddess. But I appreciate the intention, as I'm sure my brother does as well. Farewell, Felina.
There. That's him. Halt, sir. In the name of the Crown, I arrest you. What is it I stand accused of, officer? You are accused of murder. Guards from the City Watch were killed in your home just today. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just arrived in King's Landing. Men died in my home? Do you have any leads? You're quite confident, Sir Alistair, but your story isn't fooling anyone. Several witnesses saw you leave your home immediately after the incident. The King's justice concerns everyone, my lord, even people of your standing. Give yourself up. What will become of him? He will be stripped of his weapons and brought to the dungeons of the Red Keep. If he's found guilty, tradition allows him to choose his own punishment. He will either be sent to the wall to take the black, or be beheaded. Now that's an amusing notion. And if you should be foolish enough to resist, my men are just outside, and they would eagerly welcome a chance to avenge their brothers in arms. A simple gesture from me, and this brothel will be left in ruins. Sir Alistair, I pray. None of that here. Think of my girls. Very well, officer. I'll follow you. Courage, Alistair. Courage. A few days spent in the dungeons of the Red Keep won't be the death of me. They're bound to send me someone to speak with. Hello, Lord Sarwick. Lord Varys? It is too bad these surroundings are not as pleasant as our last encounter. How has your stay been? Long. I had expected a quick trial when the men of the City Watch came to arrest me. I was mistaken. You are the first person to come and visit me. Why are you here? Usually my only visitors are rats. You see, the fact that you don't seem to care about yourself rather pleases me. Your escape will go unnoticed for quite some time. My escape? Someone decided to help me out of here. I am here to serve you, my Lord Sarwick. What could you possibly gain from that? The balance of the Seven Kingdoms is delicate, and I predict more upheaval to come. It is clear that you have a role in what is to come. Thank you for your concern, but I refuse to leave these cells as a fugitive. I prefer to await my trial and defend my name before the Crown. You are quite the optimist. I am sorry if I've ruined your plans. I intend to meet with the Queen. I must take back Riverspring and keep that traitor Valar from getting his hands on it. To do that, my name must be cleared. Otherwise, how can I plead my case before the Queen? Cleared? You've killed Goldcloaks, my friend. Who has accused me? One of Valar's soldiers? then it will be my word against his. I see. It may not go as smoothly as you imagine. Believe me when I tell you that it will be several more weeks before your trial. In the meantime, Savala will have wed your sister. Valar is the one who truly preoccupies you, is he not? That's why you're here, making this proposal. Only the kingdom preoccupies me, my friend. That said, we may find common ground i'm listening i can get you an audience with the queen today if you wish it i doubt that a fugitive would be allowed to approach her much less speak to her you only knew cersei lannister as a naive young princess dear man since her marriage she has become a strong-willed queen with a burning ambition well versed in intrigue she has been filling the court with her creatures for years now so 
Thus, the virtue she prizes above all else is loyalty, which she rewards generously. That is how Savala moved up in court, and therein, paradoxically, lies your opportunity. Swear blind allegiance to the Queen, become her devoted servant, and she will give you what you desire. And you believe that Valar will just sit there and allow me to thwart his ambitions? Oh, I doubt that very much. It is quite likely that he will strike back at you eventually, but in front of the Queen, he won't dare to use force. Of course, he will try to remind her of her commitments, but she has never been capable of the same loyalty that she demands of her men. Impress her, make yourself more desirable than your rival, and you will win. You're right. It could very well work. You give good advice when it's in your best interests, Lord Varys. How do you plan on getting me out of here? As you may imagine, I have no desire to be seen in the company of a fugitive when I go back up. You'll have to manage on your own. Here is the key to your cell. Once I've left, you will leave and head towards the guardroom. You will find the guard asleep at his post. I'll wager that he was served a particularly strong glass of wine. Very well. And the others? Surely the King's prisons are not guarded by just one drunk man. Don't worry. In the very depths of the Red Keep, there are paths known only to ghosts and spiders. If such ways exist, then I doubt you're the only one to know of them. I imagine they've been here for centuries. Indeed. When the Red Keep was built, King Magor the Cruel made certain that the fortress walls were all connected by a vast network of secret passages. These passages allowed his spies to see and hear everything that occurred in every room in the Keep. It is said that Magor had every man who worked on its construction executed in order to keep the passages secret. Apparently that was not enough. Indeed. But don't forget, Lord Sarwig, it is my duty to stay informed. I am the only one who knows all of its entrances and the full extent of its meanderings. I see. Then tell me how to access the throne room. Pass by the row of cells across from yours. Look for the one with a flagstone on the floor bearing the sigil of the Targaryen dragon. It is a passage towards the tunnels. Past that point, be on your guard. Don't worry about me. I carry the light of R'hllor. It will guide me in the darkness. I will await you at the end of the passage to give you access to the throne room, where you will meet the Queen. Good luck, Lord Alistair, and I will see you soon. By the flame! It's our quartermaster. So he's the one I heard yelling. May R'hllor welcome him to his light. Wine's too strong, eh? Obviously Varys truly knows how to live. Ah! <laughs> 
There, the dragon. The passage that Varys told me about must be hidden in that cell. Relor, guide me. You who see all, reveal to me what is hidden in the dark. <laughs> 